Now we want to perform the first step of the implementation of the water plant project. We start the control builder to create the project tree. First, let's have a look at the completed tree to get an impression what we are aiming for. You see three nodes under the conf node. PS1 for process station, in our case the emulator. OS1 for DigiVis operator station and the third named UFB. UFB stands for User Defined Function Block. If we open the PS1 node, we see two other well-known nodes. One User Task List and one System Task List. Both were created automatically. Under the User Task List, we find two tasks. One called SIM and the other one planned. The SIM task is responsible for the simulation of a real process. For example, it generates the pressure in the pipe or the flow through it. The other one, called plant, is responsible for the control of all process devices. For example, it opens the valve or controls the pump. Under the plant task, we find three program lists. Inlet, tank and outlet. As mentioned earlier, a program list is just a structure element to achieve a better overview of a task. If we open the water plant picture under the operator station, you will also recognize the main three parts here. The inlet pipe, the tank and the outlet pipe. Under the program list, the function block diagrams are listed. Inlet contains three function block diagrams, NP10 to control the pump, FI10 to scale the flow into the tank, and PI10 to scale the pressure in the inlet pipe. The program list tank contains two function block diagrams. Trends performs the trend acquisition, tank B10 supervises the level in the tank and controls the setting of the positioner. The program list outlet is very similar to the inlet list, but has an additional function block diagram called NS21. This is a flap to adjust the water consumption. Finally, we look what UFB contains. There we have a structural element called SIMFU1 with a user-defined function block FU1P below. This function block contains the simulation of the process. It is used in a simulation task. A user-defined function block is a program created for a dedicated purpose. What you see now is the entire project tree for this very simple model. Let's now start with its implementation. Create a new project and enter the configuration mode. Create a conf node under the project node. To avoid repeating steps, we import again the template that we have already used in the foregoing session. Choose the Edit, Import Block menu command and open the template. The additional tree structure is added under the Pool node. Select all new nodes related to the template and move them under the Conf node using drag and drop. To insert new elements, Right-click the user task list and select Insert Next Level. Select Task in the dialog and give it a name. Above you insert another task called SIM. Under SIM insert a program list and also name it SIM. Under the program list, insert a function block diagram.
as we need two more. Copy this one and paste it to the selected program list. Rename the new block. Paste again and rename it. The SIM tree is now complete. Now select the plant task and insert the program list inlet. Insert a function block diagram below. Copy it and paste it twice to the selected plant task. We will now duplicate the entire program list. Collapse it and then select and copy it. Paste it under the plant task, rename the program list as outlet, and the function block diagrams as NP21, FI21 and PI21. Insert another diagram and name it NS21. One program list is still missing. Create it and name it Tank. Insert two more function block diagrams and name them Trends and Tank B10. For Digivis we need a graphic display, the picture we have seen several times. Such a bitmap is stored in a free graphic display. To create it, select OS1, insert on next level, a graphic display named Waterplant. To finalize this one, double click the new Waterplant display. In the graphics editor, select Draw Bitmap. Click into the topmost left corner to position the graphic. In the dialog, click the Import button to import the file. If the bitmap is not correctly positioned, you can drag it to the desired position. Leave the editor and save the graphic. What's missing is the user-defined function block. In a further step, we would like to adjust the order of the program list of the plant task. Inlet should be at the top position, not at the bottom. To perform this, just drag it to the desired position. As long as you move it over the possible positions, a stack of pages is shown at the cursor's tip. In a dialog, you can define whether you want to drop the element above or below the current position. To import it, select the Edit Import Block menu command. Select the corresponding file and prevent automatic renaming of tag names. You see the user-defined function block was imported into the pool. Collapse it and drag it under the OS1 node. If you expand it, 
you see all components, the function block class and the function block diagram itself. What did we learn in this session? We learned how to insert new objects like operator stations, process stations, tasks or function block diagrams. How to import template files or user-defined function blocks. How to copy and move objects. And how to insert a free graphic into DigiVis. In the next steps, we will fill diagrams with function blocks. Thank you.